Hey, what's up, you bastards? I'm going to show you how to make a hybrid weapon on Borderlands. And what that is, is when you start mixing and matching manufacturer parts on weapons that they don't belong on. So I'm going to just take my save here. Uh, you can use XTAF, Modio, whatever you want. I use Horizon to get your save off. And then you open it with a tree, of course, anyone who's ever made a weapon. Everyone, people who don't know where all those guns come from that they're fucking running around with, this is where they're made. You go to your general info tab, it shows your level, experience, your cash, you can mod your backpack, space, all that kinds of stuff. Weapon shows everything in your inventory. And once you click on a weapon, these are the different parts that make it up. There's the quality, which adds damage. It, just overall quality, increases fire rate and everything. And then here's your level. But those are kind of... Uh, not needed when you're making a hybrid. So what are you gonna do? Hit new and at the bottom of your list it's gonna say new weapon. You click on that and you got a blank slate here. And for hybrids you go to your item grade. And when we say you're making an SMG you do patrol SMG or if you're making a machine pistol you use machine pistol. But if you're making a hybrid you're gonna use Scorpio. Then you double click manufacturer, type in 9 with a capital N. And make sure these are all the way, it says 0 in your ammo, quality and level are disabled. So, you, so it's easier to search later in HXD. Whether it's equipped or not, doesn't really matter. But you, if you have one equipped, you can wield a level 81 weapon, which is 53 in hex. You just hex it to that level. So this is like the starting point of making a hybrid right here with your no manufacturer, uh, Scorpio item grade, and uh, all of this. So what we're going to do for the sake of this video is build a SMG. So you see patrol SMG, you're going to open this menu. Now I start, I just go down the line versus picking parts and putting them as I come to them. So weapon type is always going to be the first line in whatever you do. You open patrol SMG, it's that line. You open repeater, it's that line. So it says weapon type, and that's where that's going to go. So you double click it, and it changes it. Then body. Uh, I use this site right here to refer to all the different parts. It tells you what they do to the gun. Every little thing, even extra effects. If they have red text, like their legendary weapons, it'll show you what it says. But um, being I pretty much know, and I've built piles and piles of weapons over the years, I'm just going to build uh, what I know to be the best. So if we're going for a really good quality weapon, uh, I'm going to use barrel 4, which I would normally use barrel 5, but I'm going to use barrel 4 because I want more damage. So I'm going to do body 5. The grip doesn't matter. If you're, um, if you're building a legit weapon, your manufacturer, the grip, and the material have to all match. And there is really no going wrong as long as you keep everything where it's supposed to be if you're building a legit weapon. And as you'll see when you go to grip, over here, TDR, doll. You're building a Molly One gun, you need a Molly One grip, and then so forth. But with a hybrid, it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to use, let's say, a Hyperion grip. Then Mag. Uh, Mag 4 has the most damage. Mag 3 is the banana clip. I don't really use that one unless I'm building like an elemental SMG. And it looks really cool with the colors glowing off of it. But I'm going to use Mag 4. And then barrel, like I said, as you can see here, uh, barrel 4 is doing 30% damage and 5 is 15. And you can see that there's more record or accuracy, excuse me, on barrel 5. So it's a trade-off depending on what you want. If you want more fire rate, more damage or whatever, you build it how you want it. But I'm going to use barrel 4 because of the, such an increase in damage. So you scroll up and right here you're just, you're just piecing it together is basically what you're doing. And on the site, I always use personally Site 1. It's a standard red dot, and it's what I like to use on SMGs. But these 2 to 5 go into more uh, increased scopes, just further and further zooms, which I think is pointless on an SMG, but it's, it's whatever you want to do when you're building it. So now we're going to put the stock on. Stock 5, there's no reason to use anything but Stock 5 on an SMG. It, um, as you can see right here, when we get down to it, uh, it's just increasing recoil reduction, and obviously five is the best. There's there's really no trade-off. It's the it's the best thing to use, in my opinion. And then action, 
a uh, an a SMG doesn't have an action. There is it's not like a repeater or a revolver or anything. So you double click and put none. You have to put none if you're not going to use that part. Accessory can be anything from blades on revolvers where you can melee for more damage to the thing that makes your weapon elemental. And as you can see right here, there's all kinds of different ones. If you want a corrosive SMG, you would use this, and you get the idea. Vector is pretty much the best one to use if it's non-elemental SMG, and here's why. When you look at it here, Vector is a 45% fire rate, 200% recoil reduction, adds reload speed. It's just, it's a really good accessory to use on a non-elemental SMG. So we're going to go with Vector. Material is the appearance of the weapon. It's the look of it, the color. Um, some manufacturers are stayed pretty much the same, but there's three different qualities, as you see right here, and you're going to go to shared material parts for that, for your material. And as you can see, there's one, two, three on every one. They're increasing qualities. If you want the best you can get, obviously you're going to use three. As you know, every manufacturer has their own different thing. Atlas is just high quality. Doll is good recoil reduction. Hyperion uh, reloads fast. No, excuse me. Hyperion has good accuracy. Jacobs is high damage. It's whatever you want. And um, being I just want an all-around good SMG, I'm going to use Atlas. So we're going to use the third material. Being it's a hybrid, like I said, normally the grip, manufacture, and the material would all have to be Atlas. Atlas grip and so forth. But if it's a hybrid, it, it really doesn't matter. You can use any material. And it's kind of unique, so you can build like a Vladoff SMG, which looks funny because Vladoff doesn't manufacture SMGs. You'll never see one spawn in the game. Prefix and titles. Um, this is, again, depending on what you want out of the weapon. Uh, you see Shredders, Matadors, Twisted, Xanarchies all over the fucking place. It just depends on what you want. But my personal opinion, the best thing to use is Shredder Matador on an SMG. Because you get more shots fired, uh, good accuracy... And, uh, it, of course, it increases the base damage. In this case, being it's not a Shredder Shredder, it's a Shredder Matador times four. But you are getting fire rate out of it. So, being that Shredder is a combat shotgun title, you're going to go to combat shotgun. And then you look down here. You see right here, title, projectile Shredder. going to be a Shredder Matador, so I'm going to put it on the latter part of the name. And then, uh, oh, excuse me, Shredder. I'm going to have to put it in the prefix. And then Matador, which is also here too. So then, when, obviously, when I load this gun, it's going to be a Shredder Matador. So now you've got your weapon built. Uh, this is, when you finish with it, if you've got everything like you want it, this is it right here. And um, all you're going to do now is, you see over here, it says New Weapon still. You hit Save Changes, and then it becomes a Shredder Matador. Being it's a um, hybrid, if it was a normal weapon, like a legitimate weapon... You would just be done here. You would raise the quality and level and be done. But there's hex editing involved too. So you've hit save changes. So now you're going to save over that to make a new file. There you go. And now that you've saved your changes and you've got this save updated, you're going to open HXD or any kind of hex container and open your save. The reason for lowering the quality and level is because it enables you to search for 14 zeros and 4 Fs. That seems kind of random, but it's it's 9 bytes of information. The last 4 Fs are the weapon's level. So let's see. You got your 14 zeros and 4 Fs. Make sure you're searching hex values. And as you can see, these two right here are going to be your level. Your level 69, say if you're max level, you always got to put it too higher because for some reason that's the way the game reads it. So obviously 69 would be 71. So you put 71 and you'll find out that you need to change it's yes, 47 in hex. So you're going to put 0047. Now the weapon is level 69 and it's been hex edited. If you didn't hex edit and you just try to take a hybrid with a Scorpio item grade and just raise the quality and level, then that's when you start seeing the weapons with 65,000 level requirements that are just unusable because Willow Tree is just not made to be able to read weapons like that. You have to actually hex the save. So now that that's done, you hit save. And you can either reopen it and save again in Willow Tree because it does have a built in rehash resigner, 
or you can uh, do it here. So instead of just rehashing resigning in there, I'm going to reopen it. This is how I used to do it. And then save over it again. And that's just rehashing and resigning the save so it doesn't show up corrupt. Then you just inject it back into your uh, flash drive or hard drive or whatever you have connected. And uh, there you go. The uh, little Connectimals cat there is uh, Willow Tree's new symbol. So if you see that, you'll know you're updated. That's your new modded save. I hope you learned something from this, and uh, I'll catch you later.